It's really a fun experience. Uh, <clears throat> each level, the individual levels, or the basic levels where most of the people are, the chapter level, and that's mainly a question and answer uh, type competition. Uh, and you know, if you ask a student, a high school student, why don't you compete about the human brain? And they'll say, oh no, we can't do that because you know, it's too complicated or you, because we don't get that in high school. But if you show them a nice book, right, which is Brain Facts, uh, and say that all the questions are based on that book, they look at it and they say, hey, this is interesting, I can do that. So it's, it's challenging but not overwhelming for a student. And so that's what you do. You want them to open up a book and read about the brain and so forth. But if they, get, if they win their locals and get to the higher levels, it's much more complicated. For instance, the USA Championship that we're having now has six parts. One part is a neuroanatomy practical just like medical students take where we have 25 stations okay, with real human brains and they have to identify parts and functions. right? And you can see them and smell them and so forth. <coughs> they get certain number of points for that. Another part they have is patient diagnosis. We have patient actors. We have nurses who pretend to have certain uh, neurological and psychological disorders and each competitor has to sit down next to them for a certain amount of time, look them in the eye, and try and diagnose what that patient actor uh, has. 